I'm Ritesh Pothan. I'm with uh, Scopius Trackers. Scopius Trackers is now the number one Indian tracker technology installed. We've got 251, 250 megawatt installed in India as of now. And we are the only global tracker organization with multiple solutions. Alan talked about centralized solution. We have both a centralized as well as a decentralized solution. Our decentralized solution uh, caters to certain markets, certain land profiles, and is coming online by end of June. And our decentralized, uh, sorry, our centralized solution is what has been installed in 250 megawatt. So why track the sun? I'm, um, I think Alan has covered it to a pretty large extent. The generation gain, the LCOE, that's what you're after. It's not the cost per megawatt. I think there has been a lot of uh, focus on cost per megawatt. As Indians, we have an ingrained bias where if something works, we just keep working with that and pushing and pushing and pushing. Uh, whereas uh, the technology that we've developed is completely made in India. So it's all developed at our research center in Pune, our bearings, our uh, PCBs, the um, actual assembly language coding, everything, all the entire algorithms, Everything is done in India, and we are now expanding globally. We have installations in Japan, which is one of the toughest markets in the world. Quality is absolutely supreme in Japan. Um, I'll show you the photograph for our plant there. We have it in uh, Middle East. We have it in Africa. We have um, also supplied in the US. So we're growing tremendously, and the reason behind our growth is the fact that we are able to deliver on what we talk about. Now, if you see this generation, that numbers that we're talking about, you can take a look at power Gada. Sorry. Uh, Power Gada, you talk about Mysore. On average, that we are seeing, we have never seen, at least in our installations, anything south of 17, 17 and a half percent. And uh, we're talking of in locations like Punjab, where we come up with certain unique solutions to deliver almost 18 percent. And 18 percent for a tracker is, is very good, especially in the Indian scenario with a lot of soiling losses, with a lot of. Uh, uh, technicalities that you need to deal with, with grid, everything. The reason why, or the reason why we are growing and the reason why we are amongst the best, I mean, if you compare Apple to Apple, is that we have zero mechanical O&M. So our bearings are designed in such a way that they're built to last for a long, long, long time. That means post 25 years as well. Uh, they undergo salt spray testing. They've gone undergone a lot of testing. And the pedigree of the organization is such that our founders are in the automobile and the digital image analysis and the metallurgical industry for the last 20 years. They are serial entrepreneurs. So they have come up with reverse bolt-on, uh, late systems. So there's a tremendous amount of technology pedigree that has come into the organization. Even before we started with the single axis tracking, the focus of the organization was on to C uh, CPV. So you had to do dual axis. So we had to actually focus our technology down one notch to move to single axis tracking. And which is why we brought a lot of quality and a lot of uh, structure and a lot of thought into uh, the product. And now, you know, it's a proven track record. I'll come to the various certifications, bankability and everything. No lubrication, our uh, bearings are actually not metal on metal because the reason, because what happens is that you have metal on metal bearings when you have a lightning strike. Um, some of them tend to get fused. So there are a lot of, lot of optimizations from um, the day we've installed about four years ago. Um, and the reason why I'm focusing on mechanical is because everyone has it in their, there's a bias that says that trackers means more o &M. That's not really true. If you go with a good tracker, someone who knows their job, someone who's absolutely been tested, verified, validated, that's the actual increase, the actual increase that you would look at in our trackers on a year on year basis after the fifth year is just about six to 7,000 rupees. And that's only to change the battery. We are self-powered. So the way that it works is that we consume 300 units in a year. That's for a megawatt, 300. And that's self-powered because we have individual uh, modules powering our systems. So from that perspective, I'd like to dispel that myth that trackers are more work, trackers are more effort, trackers are more components, so you would have more issues. That's not true. If you look at a good tracker, those things don't really come into play. So we have, this is this is sort of a road tracker where you can actually use long, it's not required that you have squarish plots or rectangular plots. You can use any type of plots. You can, uh, we have dual technology. So even if your land is uh, variable, even if there's a lot of leveling required, if there's a lot of, uh, if we can work around that. So we have dual technology and that's that's the advantage we bring to the table. 
So like everybody says, how much can you squeeze? How much can you use? In the US, you would have a tracker pitch of about six meters. Six meters works out to about some five and a half to six, um, six acres per megawatt. But you have to look at the million unit generated. So if you were to put the fixed tilt, if you were to compare million unit to million or a kilowatt hour to a kilowatt hour, a tracker would take lower space. So in five acres, you can easily match that of a fixed tilt. So it's not about the fact that trackers, that's another myth that trackers need more land. Yes, we can do the same tracker in a four meter pitch. You can do it in a four and a half. You can do it in a five meter pitch. You can do it in a 4.8. You can do it what? And that is where all the technology, all the expertise, all the ingenuity, all of that comes in where you actually de develop, deliver, develop and deliver a solution that gives you the value for your money. Um, the way that we've worked is that we are also, I mean, we are also helping inverter because if you look at inverter data sheets, none of them say more than 1.2 DC loading ratio. A few of them now are committing to that. They might, uh, I mean, they're not giving it to you in writing. They were giving it to you in a separate paper, but very few of them are actually in the data sheet saying that they're going to do 1.3, 1.4. So we are avoiding that issue because the max loading that you need to do on a tracker is about 1.1, 1 1.2. That's the max loading because you're optimizing. Then that's where quality comes in. That's where your quality panels, quality systems, all of that. But at the end of the day, you have to look at it. Trackers as a solution are absolutely now in. It's no longer a choice of if, it's when. If you see, there are certain developers who have gone with their entire portfolio on trackers. right? And now if you're talking, I think uh, Alan was mentioning, Alan, what was that number about one point? 1.45 in India on trackers. So it's not an if. So the reason why people are pushing fixed tilt, I guess, to a certain extent is because of comfort. A lot of Indians, we believe in comfort. Once we're comfortable with a certain thing, we go with that. But again, technology has to come in because as you match, as you try and move forward, you have to work with technology. And that's the reason why you have a mobile phone. Otherwise, you would have just had a self uh, handheld phone that you, it's working at home. So end of the day, we all have to move forward. And um, we are absolutely, we have now, uh, we are one of the few people who have a Black & Veatch engineering bankability. So we spent six months, Black & Veatch is one of the top engineering companies globally. And they have spent six months in a huge, and we spent a huge amount of money making sure that our entire process, our entire manufacturing process, supply, delivery, the uh, design, everything has gone through a bankability testing. And this is a necessity when you're selling in the markets, in the US markets, in the global markets. And this is, um, we have spent a lot of time and effort into doing this. We're also, our, our trackers are also boundary layer wind tunnel tested. I'll take you to that, the boundary layer wind tunnel tested. So the way that it works is that you have different types of wind tunnels. You have an aerodynamic tunnel, which is simple, continuous speed for uh, majorly aeroplanes, aerodynamics, whereas, and boundary layer is to, is to design when you're designing buildings, when you're designing structures, to, and it gives you different wind profiles at different heights. And because of the different wind profiles, you can actually simulate atmospheric conditions that are on the ground. It, I'll come to that later. So, like I said, in Telangana, we're talking about a simple Telangana. We've had this plant now running for one and a half year. This client has given us, first he gave us 10 megawatt, then he gave us another 10 megawatt, and then he's given another six megawatt. They are that happy. And we're talking about an average of 18 months of almost 18%, 17.8%. So that's a very good number. He's absolutely happy laughing all the way to the bank. Right? I just did, we just did a simple, 250 megawatt what if analysis this is a simple um, six, I think I've shared it with some developers here so they know the value that we're bringing to the table it's not only the fact that for MU to MU basis we took a 250 megawatt this is one of the recent uh, tenders we just did a simple analysis we did an MU to MU comparison even below 17 percent and that's tracker gain and and this area we're quite sure it's almost 18 19 but we we are very conservative I mean we are from uh, a very conservative engineering. We're not sales guys, we're all technocrats, including myself. So we're very conservative. So we took even at 16.8%. If you just take a, and that's something that you'll hit at no plant. Okay, let me give you a disclaimer. No plant of ours is below 17 and a half or percent till date, right? We've had customers come to us and say, no other plants are giving 15. I said, again, it's the, you have good technology and you have 
good technology. So it's up to you whether you're looking at quality, you're looking at what are you looking for in the long run. So you need to focus on that because we have proven, again, in India, proven where you can touch, where you can see, that's very important. So we just did this analysis and just to run you through the numbers, if you see it's a 250 megawatt peak, you'd need just at 16.8%, you'd need 292 megawatt peak fixed tilt to match the same generation, right? Is it clear to everyone? Is there a thing? Is it clear? Right. So you need 42 megawatts more to match the same MU at a very low track again, right? Because if you come up to 18%, this number 292 would be almost 300, 300, 305. And if you go south, this is actually around AP or area AP Telangana. If you go south, we are looking at numbers in 18, 19, 20 percent also. It all depends. Now we are talking about if you are talking about land requirement, you see the land requirement here is just 4.73 acres. So it's similar to it's actually lower than fixed tilt if you take five acres. And this is including the boundary wall, inverters, everything. That's the tracker pitch we are talking about. Four point. You get this to six, this gain will go close to 18 percent. So. If you have more land, you can obviously generate more. So if you have a place where land is cheap, you can definitely look at it from that. So rather than going on DC ratio, you can look at tracker pitch, which will give you the same thing, right? And we are looking at a saving. If you just take a simple saving of 25 years at 17%, we're talking almost 55 crores upfront, right? O&M, because you've just saved 42 megawatt. And while people say O&M is a very cheap cost, but the moment you increase O&M by 1%, your equity IRR drops by 1%. So that's where there's a lot of, and like I said, we are boundary layer, wind tunnel tested, BNV bankability, ASC 7-10, IS 875 load, structure compliant to ASIC 360 SI S10, whereas the Indian, the Indian standards don't even meet simple standards of dynamic talk. So I don't have that video here. I'm not sure if the video works on this PDF, but basically when you have a, a, a structure, there will be different vortexes created. So high pressure, low pressure areas are constantly created. So the Indian standard is built for large, large systems. So that's where there's a lot of lacuna there. Sorry. And this is a boundary layer wind tunnel, like I was mentioning, you can see there's 100 feet, the entire structure would be created, there would be a simile created for the structure, and there would be the testing out. Um, will the video work? Is there internet? Internet, okay, so we'll skip that maybe. When I share, uh, I mean, share when they share the presentation, you can click on it and watch it yourself. So the wind tunnel, the way it is that the entire, the entire structure is rotated by about 10 degrees. So no matter which side the wind comes from, your investment is safe. That's the advantage. Whereas if you go for a wind tunnel, I mean, if you go for fixed tilt, I'm not sure how many developers are actually doing a wind tunnel. How many actually know that from a 40 ton to a 35 to a 30 to a 25, with it, will it really last? And I think that is where you need to see, that's where the price casualties are coming in, right? It's a little harsh, but it's necessary to see what happens when you, when you compromise on quality, safety, reliability. And it's not saying that uh, all trackers are all, all the same. So this is something that happens when you under design or badly designed trackers as well. So that's very important. This is the durability cycle, life cycle reliability testing we do with our components. The entire PCB, if you will see the PCBs that we manufacture, are not manufactured in an AC environment. They're manufactured in a, where your fan is rotating. We do that specifically because we want to make sure that real, and this is in Pune where it hits 40 degrees. So they're actually soldered in that environment. So if they work in that environment, chances are there, and not chances, but they are working. Four years, we've never had a mechanical failure. PCBs, we've never had any issues with them. So the bankability testing, this is something that Black and Beach did. It covered product design assembly, specification, field performance, review of test site, component materials, technology, durability testing, independent testing, company. So the list just goes on. And these are our installation photographs. You can see Africa, you can see um, this is India. You have India, this would be the Punjab plant where we've done a 10 degree tilt. So uh, we had a certain, certain developer, he went in Punjab with a zero degree with some other uh, client and he was able to get barely 15 degrees. At our plant, we were able to get 18 degrees. 
so there's a lot of advantage and a lot of thought and a lot even in, in japan this this plant you can you can't see this in the background but actually maybe that little white thing that's mount fujiyama right so japan is a very harsh terrain there we are doing north to, north to south tracking daily seasonal tilt so that's and and now based on this because of the quality we're getting repeat orders from japan and like i can say i can actually say japan is a quality is because they are getting huge tariffs so tracking is a no brainer but the fact here is that we are getting 13% inert climate like japan and we have worked without a problem for the last year year and a half these are our various installations right now we've got 250 and then 700 uh, in the pipeline and these are ongoing discussions the global footprint and you have my number this slide will be circulated please feel free to reach out anytime thank you very much